Hello, and thanks for joining me today as we talk about Avanti's security controls and distribution servers. Today, I'd like to walk you through how to set up a distribution server. We'll go ahead and get logged into our console. From our menu at the top, we'll choose the Tools menu and go to the Options menu. And from there, on the left-hand side, let's look for distribution servers where we can configure our distribution servers. Distribution servers uh, can be as simple as a UNC path. By clicking New in the top pane, we can begin the configuration of that distribution server. Distribution servers are used in order to lessen the load on your wide area network. If you have different geographical locations, it would be a best practice to have your endpoints download their patches from the closest repository, thus saving time during a patch cycle. We define a distribution server in region A by simply typing in its UNC path. Then we will specify the credential that the clients will use to download patches from that repository, and we can test our connection. We can also, in the bottom area of this pane, specify the same path uh, with a different credential if needed for the console to copy its files to this distribution server's repository. An important note here is the synchronize, synchronize with predictive patch option. Our regularly scheduled download of um, patches that we may have set up in our downloads tab of this options menu is different than predictive patch scan, uh, downloads. When we initiate a scan, if we have predictive patch checked, it will go ahead and download what it believes we will need based on those scans into our uh, patch repository on the console server. To avoid discrepancies, we will check this box so that when synchronization occurs between the console and the distribution server repositories, that there will be an incremental job that will be kicked off in the background if there is uh, a predictive patch that comes into our patch repository. We'll go ahead and save that. Now that we have a distribution server definition here, let's go ahead um, and set up a synchronization schedule. We can choose to synchronize just the core engine and definitions, just the patches that we're downloading, or both to our distribution server. Once we've selected from the dropdown what we'd like, we can click Add a Sync Schedule. This can be as often as you like, depending on your needs and depending on impact to the local area network and bandwidth on the wide area network. Once we've defined our distribution server and our scheduled synchronization, the last thing will be to define uh, how the clients will interact with those distribution servers. This is done through IP ranges. So if our Region A distribution server uh, had a local subnet of 10.0.0.254 or 255 or whatever the case may be, we could enter in a range and specify that Region A server. If we wanted to specify a backup uh, distribution server, we can, and best practice would be to define the console server here, but I don't have that set up yet. So we'll ride with just region A having its uh, IP range specified. That's all there is to it, to set up a distribution server and to set up a schedule so that the repositories sync. We can also kick off any particular um, background process by selecting it from our middle pane and clicking run now. That will kick off a distribution server sync based on the patches that are in our console's repository. Should be able to go and check and see that that is the case. And yes, we see that we have patches beginning to come in as that synchronization takes place in the background.
It's just that easy to use Ivanti security controls to set up geographically dispersed patch repositories to use during your patch cycles. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, please visit Network Consulting Services website at ncsi.us. Thank you.